this is Michael from Brainy Face Project. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Nice to see you again. So there is a piece of software that just blew my mind. I've been using it for the past couple of days, not so much yesterday because it was April 20th, it was Easter. So we had family stuff going on, but I wanted to get this video out. I've been having so much fun with this. Are you frustrated by these image to video generators online that cost a lot of money or you have to use credits and then your credits get used up to generate a crappy little video that's five seconds, 10 seconds in length and then you have to re-roll it over and over again? What if you could just do it on your local computer? You can now. There's a software that just dropped. It's called FramePack. This is why this is so cool. It uses something new which is called next frame generation. And what this means is you give the software an image and then it compresses the input frames into a fixed length temporal context window and it generates the video. Fancy way of basically saying, you don't have a lot of VRAM on your computer, doesn't matter now, it doesn't matter. You can actually run this on a GPU, like a 3060 with six gigabyte worth of VRAM, and it just sits there and churns away to create your video. You can create video from like one second, I usually do five seconds, which is the default. You can easily crank it up to 10 seconds, but you can, if you want to, go up to 120 seconds in length. It takes what I found is about, about 10 minutes for me. I've got a 4090 mobile GPU on my computer and it takes about 10 to 12 minutes to generate about five seconds worth of video. So just use that as a baseline. Your results may vary depending on your setup. I actually have this running off of an SSD because I'm getting low on hard drive space on my computer. So I had installed it on an external Samsung SSD. It's working absolutely fine. So how amazing is that? And another nice thing is when you go out to runway or or you use like the VO2, you've got, you know, Kling, you've got all these different generators. I will tell you the results that they're producing are absolutely incredible. And if you wanna have precise like director level controls where you can do camera movements and stuff like that, um, it's, you're gonna to wanna to go with a pro thing. But if you're looking to have fun, animate old family photos to do things, um, if you wanna do like horror um, clips and stuff like that, and you, you get frustrated by the community guideline stuff, if you wanna do anything that's NSFW, usually you can't do that online, you can do it with the software. I haven't had a single error message where it told me I can't do this, it just does it. So you download the software, I'll put the link in the description, there's a zip file which you have to extract the contents. You take the file called run.bat, you run it on your computer. Again, make sure you have the hard drive space. It needs to download about 50 gigabyte worth of models. And then when you end up um, with that done, you can just run the interface on your computer. I've done about 12 different images over the past couple of days. I'll just start an image going and then I'll, I'll go off and have dinner or whatever. But I'm just gonna grab an image. A lot of these I've used in the video here. And then you just basically give it a prompt. And I found that simple prompts actually work really well. And it's got a couple quick list prompts. You know, you can, dancing, oh my gosh, this thing is amazing at having people dance. It's, it's really fun if you just wanna make somebody dance. <laughs> dance, I say. So I say, uh, women sips a strawberry milkshake in an old fashioned diner. And before I click generate, just a couple quick options here. This one is called faster speed, but often makes hands and fingers slightly worse. This is called TCash, it's on by default. I found the results are generally pretty darn good by leaving this on. But if you wanted to pay special attention to fingers and hands, you can turn that off, it'll take longer. The seed value is just the random value from which it starts. So theoretically, if you have an image and you have the same prompt and the same seed, you should get basically the same video um, you know, on different computers. 
And then the total length of the video, it defaults at five seconds, but if you want to, you could crank this all the way over and do two minutes worth of video. I haven't done one that long yet. I'd have to let it run for a long time to do that but I've done longer clips and it does a really good job most of the time. I've had a couple funky ones where like the limbs and hair and stuff like that got all intertwined, but for the most part, I've only had like two or three throwaways out of the, the dozens. I've probably done about, you know, 30, 40 different images to videos now. These you don't need to change. You have the steps, it says actually not recommending to change the value and the CFG scale. And then you can, if you need to, change the GPU inference. The preserved memory it says larger means slower, but it does tell you that um, it causes slower speed and you really don't need to change that, I found. Maybe you do on your computer, but that's it. When you click Start Generation, you're gonna have a couple windows on the right hand side. The next latents, it'll show you a lot of frames. They're kind of fuzzy frames up at the top. It'll take a couple minutes for that to generate, but then it'll show you finished frames. And that's where after a couple of minutes or so, you'll see a little video starting to run in this window. Don't think that it's done. If you only have like one to two seconds, it'll say like 1.5 seconds and however many frames have been generated, don't stop. Let it run and it's actually gonna look like it's working back Backwards. So it kind of works from the back of the video, like the end frame works towards the first frame that you gave it. And again, it's been taking me about 10 to 12 minutes or so to generate a 10 or a five second clip. Also, I learned this lesson is don't give it super high resolution images. So I originally gave it 4K quality images. That doesn't really work out well. Give it images that have a resolution of about 1,280 pixels wide. You'll find that it tends to run a lot faster. So anyway, I've got 12 or 13 different images I think that I've converted into video here using this new frame pack. So the images that I used were originally created in either ChatGPT 4.0 or Midjourney 7 or from uh, publicly available just you know web memes, just basic things. I did a couple fun things to animate those as well. So for the rest of the video, um, no more talking. It's just gonna be these videos with sound effects and that I fo sound foleyed in and also music as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.